in terms of this winter storm, Dave, uh, the big problem is it's not just a winter storm that comes through. It's a long duration storm, so it starts on Wednesday. It's going to go all the way through Friday at this point. So we're talking 48 to 60 hours worth of winter weather around here, which is interesting because the last time it was like quick, right? right? It was the quick. 12 it was 12 hours. 12 hours. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Most storms are anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. They move through, but not this one. So we've got a decent storm coming our way. If you haven't heard already, uh, we're trying to get the word out. Obviously, we keep things real, right? No scare tactics whatsoever because we'll be able to handle this one, but uh, we need to be prepared for it. Wednesday through Friday, snow, north, ice elsewhere. That's the change in the models. It really hasn't changed a whole lot, but it does look like we're bringing a lot more ice into the storm system for some of us. The most impacted day looks to be Thursday at this point, but again, on the tail end of that, both days, Wednesday and Friday, uh, we're going to be doing cleanup and we're going to be getting into it on Wednesday. This morning, it's a cold start. We've got high pressure overhead. We're below zero out in Asheville County, my hometown town of Jefferson sitting at minus three right now. It's four in Chardon. You notice how we warm as we get back towards Ashland sitting at 15. The wind is very light outside, so we do have some haze floating around. Everything kind of trapped here at the low levels, so any uh, pollution or any uh, steam, whatever it happens to be, is kind of trapped here. So we might have some slick surfaces out there if they're untreated, but a beautiful day ahead. We have some morning clouds that should break for sunshine as we go throughout the day. High temperatures up near the freezing mark. How about that? Should see a little bit of snow melt as well. Radar clean sweep this morning as we get on in. You can see some of the haze that we're talking about. Some of our webcams here, courtesy ODOT. This is out towards the Mayfield Heights area, uh, and that's a common scene everywhere across northeast Ohio. But high pressure is really in control. Weak weather system in our north won't impact us. And here's our system out west still coming together. It's an Arctic front. It's some Gulf of Mexico moisture. Both those will combine to form a prolonged area. Uh, an event uh, that we have here in terms of wintry precip and even heavy rain down towards the south. So an early look at how this comes together. Not much has changed. If you joined me yesterday morning, we were talking the same thing. Notice how the rain arrives as we get into Wednesday morning. A little bit later arrival. We were thinking Tuesday night. Now it looks like Wednesday morning rain moves in. We're warm. We're in the 30s to near 40 degrees to start Wednesday. Look at this precip. It's not just us. It goes from Maine all the way back towards the four corners. As colder air sinks in, that rain will eventually change over to a mix of ice and heavy snow by Wednesday night as it looks right now. And look how this snow and ice just stays right through northeast Ohio all day Thursday, and that goes into Friday morning before this thing pulls on out. Again, it's the duration of time that's going to make this impactful. In terms of heavy snow, we are right in that sweet spot across northern Ohio where we could be talking easily over six inches. Some of the models spitting out anywhere from 10 to 20. Can't rule them out. And then the other problem I think that's a growing problem is going to be the ice. This is your ice accumulation. This would be a crippling ice storm for many across the Buckeye State, especially down towards Columbus. So as we sort it out, our snow zone, it looks to be mainly snow, maybe a little sleet off towards the north. If you're anywhere from here south, that's where we're dealing with the ice. May not get as much snow out of this, but we'll be dealing with some big time ice problems. And again, that would be Thursday. So in terms of impacts, roads, air, school closings, very likely with this and power outages as well. We'll have a heavy wet snow. Things you can do today and tomorrow, though, clear out the drains, the driveways, get everything kind of cleaned up. Think about your plans later on this week and make sure you stock up and pack in. It's a couple days, right? Should clear out by Sunday as it looks right now. You need a mortgage seven day forecast 44 on Tuesday. Great day to clean things out. Groundhog Day, of course, is when it all goes downhill and then we stay very cold behind this. So Dave, everything going to be kind of frozen and stuck. It's going to be a mess around here by Friday and Saturday. Well, you've warned us. We'll be ready. Yes, thank you, Matt. All right, 450 now, and we have you covered this week. Just text the word plow to 216 344 3300, and we will send you a link with Cleveland's new snow plow tracker website. It goes right to your phone.